Friends, I'm a little tired here, but I wanted to push this out just in case you weren't aware of this one. I uh, Somebody informed me about this one and that I was not aware of. And this actually goes back. I did not realize this. I don't know how I missed this. This goes back to... Uh, well, anyway, here's what the deal is. That there's a lot of claims that there was weapons, uh, biological weapons in Ukraine. And he said that was one of the reasons that Russia was attacking Ukraine Initially, it was three days after they started the war with Ukraine. They said because they were concerned about the biological weapons. You know, we've heard this before. Uh, I guess you used that in our pocket before. The uh, United States uh, used that during the Persian Gulf War, too. Claiming remember, that was one of the reasons that we had attacked immediately that because otherwise it would be considered preemptive attack. So we used that as a reason to, you know, go into the whole situation, the Persian Gulf War, too. If you recall, or was it one? Darn, you know, so folks, I'm sorry. I'm just like I said, I'm tired. But uh, Persian Gulf one or two? You know, oh no, Saddam Hussein. Yeah, they said that Saddam Hussein was harvesting uh, weapons of mass destruction. Remember, Bush Jr. said that, right? Well, here's the same game going on with Russia. See how history? They use the same tactics, the same fear, the same control. It's just a different uh, remix or theme on it. You know, it's just disgusting. Just absolutely disgusting. Well, this one is actually interesting because there is truth up behind this one that they are and uh, and were and probably are continuing. We know probably with the whole war situation, it's probably been closed down and any evidence in there has been removed and destroyed. You know, because I even saw an article six months later, they actually, uh, it was like in October, they let somebody walk in there and look to see if there was anything in there, the biological ones, and all they found was, pe yeah, peaches, so... You know, is after the fact, way after. But anyway, so here's here's the evidence that uh, you make your own determinations because I'm not here to say one way or the other. I'm just trying to present the facts, and nothing's factual in this world. It's all fictional lies. But you know, from the facts of these lies, that we'll try to make some sense of this. So you know, here you see right here, he says the uh, West says no biological weapons in Ukraine. Blah blah blah. West says again, again, again. You still sees no signs of biological weapons in Ukraine. That date here, October. Boy. Then, uh, so so you read all this stuff, right? What well, here's what's really bothering about it is so I mean, it goes on and on, right? Russia claims, Russian does claim, they claim back, claim we don't, you do, we have, don't, yeah, I mean, blah blah blah. The whole drama, the whole, the whole evil scheme of this thing. Boy, so here's the deal. I got oops, sorry to move something here because it's in the way. And all right, so here is right here. This says on June 14th, uh, this year, it says Washington has been urged to come clean over its bio, bio lab program in Ukraine after the Department of Defense admitted it its existence. Oh, so they admitted it. But they call it a bio lab. But you know what? Come on. You know, I'd be careful because I want any strikes. But uh, some of you are careful. So I'm just going to read this up. But you can read through the lines here. Right there is pretty much admittance that it's beyond just a bio lab. Uh, the Pentagon said on Thursday that it has operated 46 biolabs in Ukraine. Oh, that's nice. 46. Handling dangerous pathogens after previously dismissing charges as Russian propaganda. So first they say, you know, they're lying and then they come clean because, are you kidding me? So this one is actually from Reuters, which is pretty, oh no, is this one Reuters? Well, there's one from Reuters, so I don't, people, you gotta be careful who the source is. But um, there was a Reuters article that said they come clean as well. In Reuters, I mean, you know, do you trust any these <laughs> news outlets? Uh, no, but this one is, there is some, uh, you know, thing. another article where they spent like $200 million per year, something ridiculous. So isn't it nice that we're spending a lot of money on these bio labs? Now, so here's what's interesting about this. Think about this for a moment. That it's probably beyond that, you know. We know that the, uh, the you know, the, uh, the uh, Corona, got to be careful, uh, the Mascherona, that the Mascherona was actually, uh, to be careful, no one strikes, was the Mascherona, they had, they had baked that sucker in an oven out of, you know, China or the United States. You know, it's always point this overseas, you know, it's probably in seas, not over, within. But it doesn't matter because you'll point the finger outside the country. It's like even this. Uh, so anyway, so that's why we have this 
uh, world situation of Masharonas and people getting mashed uh, by the Masharona, right? And it's not funny, folks. You got to get mashed by the Masharona. And you got to talk in linguistics and the hair just to avoid getting in trouble. But anyway, um, so here we go. So the Pentagon does this. And so my point is this. Uh, oh, and China's joint calls to the United States to explain the role. Oh, see, now we got other ones targeting. Yeah, everybody's coming clean. So in March, leaked papers appeared to suggest that Operation Crane, where since a while, Kiev was reportedly blocked in the public disclosure about the program. Blah, 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 blah. You can read it on. It's our, you know, it is, it goes on and on, right? So here's my point. <clears throat> see how they also did it, uh, you know, you don't do it within the country yourself because you got to make, you know, so they, they fund it outside the country because otherwise it would make the United States look like a terrorist country, wouldn't it? So, you know what I mean? So if, but you know, how would anybody, so that's what's interesting about this one. If you'd done those biolabs inside the country, it may have been leaked within some uh, whistleblower within our country that would have exposed that we had this, um, you know, they had these uh, biological labs here doing some kind of crazy, uh, you know, uh, give care of strikes, weapons, you know, utilizing that, right? So what you do is you move it overseas. But then, but then again, but your odds of keeping it more secret would be here. You know, because you have more control of the facilities where they're located, this and that. So it's kind of weird. It's like a setup, an exposure, because then you move it overseas so that, you know, and, and see how this whole plot and theme unfolds? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's, you know, it's it's one of those things, again, to create division and, and frustration and sneakiness and all this other crud. I mean, my gosh, Matt from Quantum Conscience. I mean, he's too, I, I wish he would have picked up on this one. I don't know if he did back then, if, if I missed one of these. But man, I'm telling you what, this one, this one's written all over it that it's a whole game with our reality and trying to create, uh, you know, frustration and, and uh, anger and pointing fingers. Because now, because look at this. So you, you, you go fund 46 labs in another country and you admit to it and, you, you, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. Why would you have done that? You know, I mean, common sense, you would have, you would have had like Area 51. Keep it somewhere secret and locked down and, you know, nobody knows what's going on, you know, and keep it a secret. So, no, they go out there and fund this thing across seas. I'm like, you kidding me? What? <laughs> so then, so now, now it gives Russia, see how they get, now they get a little sympathy to Russia, not much. Because, you know, the, the world's against Russia overall, that, you know, that they claim it is. And so they have this thing over there that Russia can say, well, look, 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 look what you're doing. They use a justification. I'm surprised it doesn't boil up higher that Russia didn't try to use that more as a, their propaganda to, you know, to, uh, to, you know, whatever, right? For more um, war sympathy, symphony, symph tart, sy sympathy for Russia, right? It may be used in the future. Anyway, so anyway, not to go on about this. Because that's about probably enough of that. But anyway, the whole game continues. And uh, it's just, I mean, you got to kid me. If you can't see through these veils of lies and setups and themes and plots and all this, boy, I'm telling you, yeah, I, dare, I don't know what to tell you. I have, seriously, I mean, I used to be blind to some of this stuff, but it's gotten beyond normal, normal stupidity. You know, and the problem is, too, is I never used to really pay attention to stuff and, and look at these things as much as I do now, right? And have people inform me of this information. Well, there you go, my friends. Another, uh, but you know, so that's the thing is we focus on being good spirituality. We focus on our God and our creator. And, uh, you know, we understand that uh, a lot of these things are disclosing this world to us. And those were, those messages are sent to us. See, my Lord, you're in this world, of not, um, but not of it. And, uh, things and he told you that there's all those lies and deceptions and the B system and all that stuff. It's you know it's all right in front of us as well. So anyway, so uh, God bless and you have a great evening or day we're at and uh, yeah we can chalk this up as another reality uh, uh, stupidity, just ridiculous. Anyway, but like I said, that wakes us up to more truthers. Uh, you know, me and more being a, a truther and things like that. All right. Take care and God bless.